out of uh, Lubeck Brewery. Great stuff. And I, we're just on uh, Main Street, Lubeck. Want to do a little rock and roll history. First of all, back there, that abandoned lot, that was the Eagle Theater. And uh, we've got a very important place here now. Lubeck Hardware. I don't know where Eric put the sign. Lubeck Hardware. I don't know. Hey, here comes Mark Buell. Mark Buell, this guy right here. Man. Hey man! Alright! He's own Cupperneels. That was a great rock and roll club. Since tore down. I don't know why. It was a great place. Another great place. Over here, really sad. Annabelle's. Easternmost rock and roll club in America. Even more easternmost than Cupperneels. A little bit of history here in Lubeck. What's the history in Lubeck? Oh, I just wanted to point out they have a great arts organization here in town. Lamps. L-A-M-P-S, fantastic organization, a lot of young people, not a bunch of old duffers like me. And speaking of old duffers right here, this shop unfortunately is now closed, but it was owned by a woman who was married to Mark Lindsay of Paul Revere Narrators. And then they moved out of town. It was really kind of sad because the Raiders are one of the great garage bands of all time. And uh, over here we have the Lubeck Hardware sign. Oh, that's where it went. It's not on the front, now it's on the side. And uh, the other kind of urban legend, you know, I was just talking about the Lubeck Brewery, and I hope I don't drop this. And uh, I do want to point out that Jimmy Fallon and Lauren Michaels were not there, but they frequent the Lubeck Brewery quite a bit. And uh, also another secret in town here, Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo. He gives uh, Tai Chi lessons here in the summer, but a lot of people don't know that. And the wonderful thing about Lubeck is that it's right across the Lubeck Narrows from Campobello Island. Hello, Campobello! Rock on!